PRP or GFC? Are you confused which is better for your hair loss? Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I am a dermatologist in Bangalore from the last 18 years and I am here to solve all your questions. So, when we talk about hair loss, we know that platelet-rich plasma treatment, this is something which has been there in the market for a really long time and there's a new competitor for you, the GFC or the growth factor complex treatment, which is newly available in the market and both are helping to treat the same problem which is the male or the female pattern hair loss. So we all know that male pattern hair loss and female pattern hair loss needs a lot of treatment because it's a continuous process. The hair is under the influence of the dihydrotestosterone which is going to be treated by the medical methods with the solutions of peptides, minoxidil, multivitamins etc. And then when we want to make the miniaturized hairs into thicker terminal hairs we need the factors which are present in the platelet. So let us understand what are the difference between the platelet rich plasma or the PRP treatment and the GFC or the growth factor complex treatment. They have lot of similarities but they have some specific differences as well which make them better or more useful for some sets of patients. In platelet rich plasma as well as in growth factor complex treatment the treatment is done with the help of the patient own blood. So we take the blood of the patient as if for a blood test and usually between 15 to 20 ml of blood is taken and then in platelet rich plasma treatment we use a ACD tube and spin in a double spin centrifuge to get the platelets separate from the red blood cells. In the GFC treatments we use patented tubes or test tubes which not only take out the platelets but also extract the growth factors from the platelet. So there is an additional step of processing which happens in the specific test tube which is part of the GFC complex. So what is the difference in the clinical application? During the treatment in both platelet rich plasma and the GFC, the blood is drawn from the patient and then it is processed and after the processing, it is injected into the patient's scalp using the micro injecting techniques either a dermapixel or a doctor injector or a insulin syringe. In the platelet rich plasma because the platelets is still intact the treatment is slightly more painful therefore it is a little bit more uncomfortable for the patient than the GFC treatment. In the growth factor complex because the growth factor serums are extracted from the platelets, you have almost no pain and it is a very well tolerated and very comfortable treatment. Coming to the results, both platelet rich plasma and GFC have good results. In fact, we are seeing equally good results with both the treatment. But because this GFC treatment has got the additional advantage of the growth factor itself being extracted, it seemed to have a slight edge over platelet rich plasma. Obviously, because the test tubes we use for platelet rich plasma is different from the GFC, there is going to be a difference in the price point of the treatment and this will differ from doctor to doctor. To understand your dermatologist is probably the best person to tell you whether you are going to benefit from platelet rich plasma or GFC treatment. So please trust the professional and let them make the decision whether this is going to be a better option than that and then remember that medical maintenance making sure you're compliant with your serums which have been prescribed your vitamins which have been prescribed and regularly following up with the PRP sessions is extremely important to get great results in any type of hair loss to know more about these treatments speak to your dermatologist today I hope I have cleared your doubts about PRP and GFC and if you have some more questions to ask me, please leave them in the comment section below. Do like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching. Audio Jungle.